Today we are going to install directly Windows 11 on an internal or external SSD without using a USB pen drive. And if we are using an external SSD, this will be great because I can use it on this computer. And then when I decide to shut down my computer, I just need to take out my SSD, plug it into another computer, boot it up, and everything that I've got on my Windows 11 installation here, software, documents, and so on and so forth, I will be able to use on this computer or on this computer or any other computer. And this is great if I have one computer at home and one computer at work and I don't want to carry a laptop. I just need to carry a small SSD such as this Sabrent right over here. And that is great. Also, if we want to play around with a Windows 11 installation and we don't want to mess our computer, this is also a really fun way to do. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and of course i'll be installing in an external ssd but you can install on an internal ssd as well so let's go for it now we just need to go to google and search for windows 11 so that we can download the iso file and then we will choose windows 11 select the language and click on on download. We also need to download the Windows NT setup tool, so just search for Google for that. We will find several websites to download it. Usually I use Major Geeks. There's the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version, which was the one that I did download. Then we just need to extract that file. I did place the folder on my desktop along with the Windows 11 ISO, but you can put it anywhere on your computer. Now, I just need to connect my external SSD, which is this Sabrent right over here. You can use, as I said, an internal SSD, but in this case, for this project, I will be using the external, which will give me the freedom to boot up on any computer. Then we just need to open open the Win NT setup folder and run the program. Now on the first menu, select Windows Image ISO that we downloaded. On the second menu, just choose the EFI partition of our external drive. And then in the third menu, we just need to select the external disk where you will install Windows 11. Now there are a few more features that we can choose, but for now we will leave it as it is. Click on Setup and then OK to start the process and it will take a few minutes. And once it's done, it will ask us to restart. Now when restarting we need to choose the external SSD as the boot disk. After that there will be a menu appearing and we just need to select Windows 11 Pro which was the installation that we just made. After a few minutes the system will restart and stop at the boot menu again. Select Windows 11 Pro again and start the initial configuration. Now setting up Windows 11 it's easy but it's a bit boring. But once you completed all the steps, ta -da, we are ready to start running Windows 11 from an external SSD. And at this moment I'm using the Windows 11 installation that I've got here, but if I want to change from computers I just need to shut down this computer for example, remove the USB SSD, connect to this computer and boot it up. Now while we are booting we will need to select from the BIOS settings to boot from the external SSD. We will get into that usual menu to choose the operating systems that we have available and select Windows 11 Pro. Now the first time that we boot into a different computer, if you have a Microsoft account like I did to do the login, it will ask me to change and to confirm the PIN, but that is just once. After that, everything will be ready to use. Now, this means that now I can move my Windows installation between different computers and all my settings and my installed applications will be there. So I no longer need to carry a laptop to work and then bring it home. I can just bring on my pocket an external SSD and I will have everything here. And this is also great if you want to try software, if you want to try anything at all without damaging your main operating system, without putting your documents at risk. You might want to have a total isolated Windows installation on an external SSD, which is really, really cool. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.